What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of the vlog. It's an absolutely beautiful February day and today we're doing another property tour with our friend Evo from Remax. He's the guy who showed us that beautiful manor in Garajau in Caniso. We're here at Mirador das Cruzes uh, overlooking Funchal and this apartment is just down the road here. We'll get to that in a second. Basically wanted to tell you a little bit about the area before we, we head into the apartment. This is pretty much a very historical area. We're literally a minute away from the apartment. We've got up here Fortaleza do Pico, one of the oldest forts in uh, Funchal, dating back from the 16th century. We've got over here Museo Quinta das Cruzes, which is also super old um, manor estate that used to belong to the Zarco family or the Camera family or whatever you want to call them. That's uh, the, the, the founders of uh, Madeira, one of the founders of Madeira. The Universe of Memories Museum, only been there once, really enjoyed it though. We've got the Frederico Fe uh, Freitas Museum over here. We've got the Santa Clara Convent over here. We've got the San Pedro Church down at the bottom, all very old historical places in Funchal. There's the English Church over here. We've got the La Vie Shopping Center. It's a really central, really, really great area. We're gonna go and have ourselves a coffee and uh, meet up with Ivo. Let's go. I forgot to mention, there's also over here the Natural History Museum of Funchal. It's currently closed because it's under renovation, just like Quinta de Cruz and the Santa Clara Monastery as well. But in a couple of years, this will all be pretty full of uh, entertainment value, so to speak, here in uh, San Pedro. Probably uh, one of the most historical parts of Funchal. So this is Rua de Cajera, uh, another historic road in Funchal. Everything that you're seeing in this video is really just a walk away from the apartment. And um, over here, this is where we come to eat and to drink. Usually when things are back to normal, uh, this place will be full of little restaurants and bars and things and loads of life. So really great to be close to everything. We're gonna finish our coffee and we're gonna be meeting up with Evo now at 10 o'clock. It should be real cool. My name is Ivo de Souza. Uh, I'm South African born, bit of Madeira and Portuguese descendants, been here for many years. Okay. Uh, I represent Dreamax here on the island. Uh, so if you're looking to sell or buy property in Madeira, please hope I can help you out. Today we're showing a two-bedroom city apartment cool. in the center of Fulchal. Uh, this is the parish of St. Peter's, we call San Pedro, and the area is known as Cruz. Okay, so it's it's accessed by this road, Rudas Cruz, which is a it's a one-way, relatively quiet road, far enough from the center of town, but close enough as well. So you're basically a minute walk into town to all the services you can imagine, private and public shopping malls, clinics, pharmacies, everything, you, you, you've got a one minute walk away. This is a 1963 building, but as you can see, the apartment itself has been totally opened up and modernized and refurbished. One thing you'll notice is we're very close to the sea as well. We're at about 50 meters above sea level. Okay, so this is a very warm area. Another thing you'll notice is the building itself and the actual apartment are facing south. So we've got this beautiful sunlight exposure morning to night because the sun is running obviously east to west. We have this south facing balcony that serves the social area. We have another balcony facing north, but I want to show you the, the rest of the apartment first. As you'll notice in terms of this division, it's, a, it's an open kitchen space concept uh, with inbuilt modern appliances. We have a stove, oven, dishwasher, 
microwave and refrigerator, all inbuilt modern appliances. To the north of the property, we have two bedrooms, one of which is an ensuite. Uh, we're talking about 85 meters squared of interior space, okay. but we have 28 meters squared extra space in verandas or balconies, as you want to call them. There is a possibility and a small extra cost of staying as it is, everything included. The two bedrooms, one is an ensuite, as I said, they both share a balcony facing north and we have an extra laundry storage space at the back. This back area, I mean, this balcony is very private. Uh, like I said, both rooms access it. You've got total privacy at this back space of the apartment. Obviously the south facing balcony is nice because you've got the sunlight exposure and the view, city and sea view. But this one obviously is a lot more private uh, and, and interesting as well. So you have seems, both verandas, which is not quieter. so common. It seems yeah. quieter. It's quieter, yeah. And fresh, a lot of like fresh, fresh air, right? Yeah. Now this is 28 meter squared of balconies, which is, you know, pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Separated into two different areas. So. Okay, you've got blackout blinds. I mean, if you, obviously, if you're closing them out, this is completely dark. You can sleep until midday. And the sun doesn't get you until late afternoon as well. So these rooms are, are this room especially is more darker than the other one. Yeah. So last time we showed you guys a, a 1.25 million euro property in Garajal. Yeah. And we actually got some of you guys asking for something a little bit more practical. Showing this Funchal city apartment was awesome. Obviously being inside it, I can see how awesome it is and how valuable this, this kind of property could be. I mean, obviously you mentioned all the, you know, that it's around everything. I know it's great to live in the city. I love living in the city. But also there's the, the tourist markets. Places like this, I've seen places like this on Airbnb where loads of our guests have stayed in places like this. We're running a couple of Airbnbs as well. And I've seen that in the city, I mean, you can pay anywhere from like 70 to 100 euros per night in an Airbnb similar to this. Even now in the downturn, we've had people staying longer terms, uh, three months, four months, five months, because they can't go back to the UK or something like this. The Airbnbs have actually survived maybe even better than us tour agencies, yeah, yeah. certainly well, better than hotels. Well, the, we, we actually, if you look at Madeira, we're sent historically an island of immigration to South Africa, to Venezuela, to Brazil, to the UK, France, Germany, all over. So, I mean, there's a lot more Madeirans out of Madeira than in Madeira. Well, at least 50 to 60% of our buyers are immigrants. Mm -hmm. And then we do have the, the foreign markets, the English, the German market, the, the the Nords, we have, uh, you know, so many nationalities buying into, into Madeira. These represent 60% of our buyers. And what they want basically is a place where they can come to Madeira and stay for a couple of weeks, a month, maybe a bit longer. And when they're not here, rent out the properties on holiday rentals, we call AL. These type of properties are extremely interesting because I've had an a, a Airbnb property as well. And we noticed that the center of town is, is really popular. People don't want to drive, they don't want to have to you know, go long distances, they don't want to use the car. They like to be in the city, come downstairs, have a coffee and you know, catch a bus or, or do a tour somewhere else. Especially for these immigrants and, and tourists, non-Portuguese, buying Madeira, this is the ideal type of property they're looking for. It doesn't have to be the city of Funchal, it can be the city of another city, Ribeira Brava, it can be Mexico. People want to be close to services and amenities, okay? But we've noticed a bit more demand for these apartments than, for example, in the tourist areas. Usually city apartments miss something. Um, sometimes the renovation is done in, in such a way that you can see it was done more or less just to fix up and rent cheaply. Okay, this, this was done uh, with a lot of good quality. A really modern style, updated finishes in impeccable condition. This was prepared by the owners, they're non-Portuguese, was prepared for them to live and they decided to, to go back to, to, to the UK. It hasn't been on holiday rentals yet, but potentially who buys it can use it for that purpose, yeah. If you guys need uh, anything property related, Evo is your man. Thank you. Um, we're putting all the links in the description. See you guys later. So luckily for us, the Hamburger Castle is uh, only a couple of minutes walk away from the apartment. Best burgers in town, Castello dos Hamburgers. Guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Please don't forget, like and subscribe to our channel. You'll be getting loads more Madeira videos throughout the whole of 2021. We're uploading every Monday at 7 p.m. And also send us a comment 
about what you th thought about the vlog, what you'd like to see in the vlog, what's your favorite part of your vlog or the or of Madeira. And don't forget, we're running huge specials on all tours and all hikes. Check us out. I'll see you guys in Madeira. Let's hit the road.